What's up guys and welcome back. So in this video, I wanna show you guys how to quickly replace the low beams in your 2005 Toyota Camry. Now this applies to all Toyota Camrys from 02 to 06. As long as your Toyota Camry looks like this, then this video is going to be for you. Without getting too much into it, first thing we're going to do here is pop the bonnet. On your driver's side, probably just below the side vent, pull it, it will release your bonnet. Pop it up, there's a little tab here to the side and lift. What we need to do is come here and loosen the bulb so that we can replace them. All right, so this is the low beam on the driver's side in Australia, which is the left hand side if you're facing the front of the car. So what you need to do here now is, there is a clip on this side here and one on the other side. You need to pinch it and then pull it out. You're not gonna be able to see it clearly here, but I'll just do it quickly and then I'll show you after. So I'm pinching on both sides now, and then I'm just gonna pull it out. Basically what I did here was I pinched both sides, left and right here. There's a tab here on this side, and there's also another one on this side right here. Once that comes out, push it out of the way, and this rubber grommet here, you just pull off, just like this. It just comes right off, okay? Just manhandle it a bit and just pull it right off. There's your rubber grommet that comes off. You notice the clip in there? You see how you have this clip here, right? You can see where it clips in. At the bottom here and here. You need to push towards the front of the car and then press down until it releases it. Then it will open up like this and you can release the bulb. Now we can simply pull the bulb out. This is how you remove the H4 bulb of the 2005 Toyota Camry. Take note of how the bulb sat inside. You notice that it did sit kind of like this with the horizontal prong at the top and then one on each side. And with this tab here facing the top. So we'll grab the new one now and we'll install it. Here are the new bulbs. As you can see, it's designed the exact same way. You have your three tabs, one, two, three. You need your light bulb to sit like this. LED should be on the left and the right, not the top and the bottom. So now we'll just install this. In order to prepare installing this, you need to remove the housing because you will not be able to get the clip back on if you have this on. So all you have to do is twist and pull. You just have to rotate it until it stops to the left and then pull it out. Now we need to install this housing first, then we can push the bulb straight in. Now I know it's a bit difficult to see right now, but you'll get the gist of it. Now, this is always the top here, okay? And then you have the two bottom parts here. Just push it in and clip it down. Make sure it lines up. Okay, now we have that in. All we have to do now is clip this back down. In order to clip it back down, remember like we did before, we push in and then you clamp up. As you can see right there, we have it clamped in. Now, all you really have to do is insert this and lock it in. Insert the bulb, right? And then you twist until it stops. So you need to finish with the bulb vertical. The way the bulb has to go in is with this at the bottom. You notice this little cup here? It has to sit like this facing the top exactly the way you see it now. We'll go in like this and then twist it until it sits like this. There we go, and just twist until it's vertical. There we go. After that, you just have to reinstall your rubber grommet and plug this back in. In order to plug this back in, we have to feed this cable through, like so. Right, so now, as you can see here, all I've done is I've pushed it through. Now, mine accidentally ripped as I was manhandling it a bit too much. All you do now is push the rubber grommet back on around the headlight, like so. Now, what I'm going to do is pull this out because you do want it to breathe. You have a fan on the back of your headlight that is going to blow hot air out and you wanna make sure that it does breathe. Right, and that's the final product. That's how you want it to be. All you do is you tuck it in around it and leave this part open because that's where the hot air is gonna come out. As you can see, there's a fan here that will pull hot air out. And then lastly, all you need to do is connect your connector and you are done. Match it, line it up, two prongs on the side and then the prong at the top and push it straight in and that's it. Test it quickly just to make sure that it works. All right. 
right and there you go that's what it looks like completely installed a nice cool white light now i will do another video at night so you can see how bright they really are big difference from the halogen yellow ones compared to this so here's a quick comparison that's what it looks like with the halogen ones and now that's what the led ones look like so a whole lot nicer and a whole lot brighter definitely but we'll do a nighttime shot and you'll see just how bright these are now this is for the right hand side facing the front of the car so the passenger side for australian cars for america you guys it would be the driver's side it's probably set out differently but if it's set out the same and you have this here then you need to remove this so that you can access the headlight you cannot access access the headlight with this here especially the bulb so what you need to do with this is you, there's tabs on it right so let me show you once i remove it this is a little bit older so all i have to do is rotate it to the right and then it pops right off but you see this hole here there is a tab that goes in there and also a tab that goes in on the other side pry this up and then it will come right off so if you have a look at this you can see that you have this tab here a tab over here on this side and also another one on this side as you're lifting it up just pry here and it will come off now you have access to your low beam light i've already removed the rubber grommet here just so i could show you guys how i went about it but the procedure is basically the same so i'm going to show you guys quickly how i do it just like before there's a tab on this side here and one on the opposite side pinch it and then pull it out wiggle it out now you have a rubber grommet over the top just pull it off like this that's it rubber grommet off to remove the light bulb this is vice versa so for this you need to push towards the front of the car and lift up and then that will release it now you can just remove the bulb right bulb out exact same thing once again rotate counterclockwise pull it out and install your locking ring so we'll push this in now I know it's kind of hard to see but kind of have to do it by feel you can look at it as you're doing it that's fine an endoscope would probably help as well but you can do it by feel it's not that hard there we go I can feel it now it's in and now push towards the front of the car and press down it's locked in now let's just make sure they're both locked in yep you can't really see properly but it is in fact locked in there it is there so you had to push it in and then press down so it locks into that right there there's two of them one on the bottom that's the bottom one and there's one on the top so just make sure you do that right and it'll be fine so to release it you have to press in towards the car and then lift it up that's how you release it unlike the other one all you have to do is install the bulb and do the exact same thing and we're done okay, so now we grab the cable and we feed it on through here like so with rubber you just keep twisting it until it goes over the top of it and you will get it over eventually okay so here we are slowly working our way over it as you can see here it's coming through now and eventually you will end up with that just like that luckily this time it didn't rip and then now you just reinstall your rubber gr cover rubber grommet just like that and grab your cable it's always just line up the way the uh, harness plugs in and perfect and that's it look at that done both sides are done now just have a quick look to make sure and there we have it both sides installed okay well there you have it guys how to install h4 led bulbs in your 2005 toyota camry remember this applies to any toyota camry from 02 to 06 if your camry looks like this then this would be the way you install it as they say simple installation super bright and long lifespan well let's just see how long it lasts now I've done reviews on Oxido before, they really do have uh, some decent products and also very affordable. I definitely do recommend these. 
in the next video I'll show you guys how to replace the high beams so you can have completely matching headlights. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.